good evening and uh, dear Tete Rasta how are you doing uh, today I thought I would really really come out of my comfort zone I don't know why I do this to myself sometimes but um, I don't know it's got to be done at some point you know sometimes when you set yourself goals and then you're kind of hiding behind every reason that you can possibly find but uh, this one I have to now manifest this is my mbira <laughs> so this um the last couple of years i've been saying to my friends you know what i need to uh, grow my mind because I, I get i get very bored and then i'm kind of loitering around doing mischief yeah doing mischief on facebook doing things with singa badare zachose so I wanted to learn something and somebody said, oh, and I need a PhD. I can't imagine myself being called a doctor, Dr. Mike Chico, <laughs> or Dr. Tete Rasta. I don't know. It didn't quite do it for me. And I didn't want to go for formal education. But what I've always wanted to do was to play music. So I enrolled myself last year um, in the Mbira Center. I'm going to give you some details about these guys because they're fantastic. The Mbira Center is based in Zimbabwe. And I actually heard a little jingle over the Christmas period. And it was Silent Night, but it was played on the Mbira instrument. This Mbira instrument is one of the more modern styles. Uh, that's been made by the Mbira Center. You see, it's called, it's got a name. It's called uh, Gona Mombe. And I left Zimbabwe early, but they're going to put Mutupo Wangu Panapa Kutisama Nyanga. So <clears throat> the Mbira is a thumb, thumb piano that is, uh, an, uh, it, it's a traditional instrument uh, that uh, belongs to my people, Zimbabweans. So you stick your, fing your finger through there and you hold it like so. And then uh, you'll be playing and you'll be strumming away at the keys and making music. So my comfort zone exit is that I'm going to play for you. It's my first recital. Albert Schmidt, I hope you're on board and I hope you're listening because your student is either going to make you proud or make you so embarrassed. So the Mbira Center, you can find them online. Uh, they're at www.mbirasenter.com. Uh, in Zimbabwe, they're on 02063772. Two six nine seven seven nine. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. You can um, uh, also make contact with the uh, proprietor, who is Albert Chimedza. So they are based in Highlands in Zimbabwe. So I signed up. I, I had this um, Silent Night played on the on on on, on the uh, on the Mbira. I, I said to Albert because he's my friend on Facebook. We were not that close at that time. So I said, I didn't know that you can play um, Western music on the Mbira instrument. And he says, yeah, of course you can. And this was all ku inbox. When I say to people ku inbox, say you have no idea. So anyway, there, there we were chit-chatting and he was like, oh, I am actually a tutor. And for years I'd been looking for a musical instrument that I could play. Because I do believe I am an artist that's trapped in all of this nonsense that I'm doing. So I said to him I was interested. I asked him how much it was. So we exchanged numbers and then we started talking. So it was because of uh, the Mbira Center and the opportunity to learn the, 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 the instrument that I actually planned to go to Zimbabwe. Uh, and I left on the, I think it was the 5th or the 6th of January uh, to go and play. I had uh, intensive classes that were booked. 500 pounds worth of lessons until I was proficient. That was the arrangement. It doesn't get better than that. Now, I had never held uh, one of these before, but Ndakanganda Tengir were one instrument, which is not as beautiful as this. This is stainless steel, by the way, and um, it's got the little rattles inside. It's beautiful craftsmanship. Um, when I saw these ones at the Mbira Center, I, I dumped my old one and I said I wanted one of these. This one I would call it the Rolls Royce of Mbiras. But Mbira is Mbira, it plays, and in a game, which uh, the mbira oh gosh there's no volume <laughs> oh my god after silent night can you play me nemam sasa ah man no oh, i don't know you're gonna put me under a lot of pressure i actually had a plan you remember um, the the president he released all those prisoners so I wanted to play Karigamombe just to honor him because Karigamombe was his grandfather. Did you know that? Yes. And we've got the Karigamombe Center uh, in the city of, of, of Harare. And we have got, what was this one? Uh, gosh, I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm getting myself all nervous now. Let me get on and do this. Uh, and then I shall have a little kip and then I shall go to work. So I haven't been practicing as much as I should have been doing. 
But I think uh, at some point, every artist has got to get on with it and do it. So thank you so much for joining me. I can see there's a lot of people on here. Uh, Lawrence Dollar says, Maya, we want Casino Royale jingle by Ted Rasta. You people are going to put me under pressure. I'll be practicing forever. Because I don't prepare. So you, I got myself some notes. Uh, this is the way that they teach. So it's very organized. So each key has got a number and it's got a sound and you're supposed to strum them uh, according to the rhythm. You're actually supposed to play as a group so that um, and you are making an orchestra. So it's absolutely beautiful. And then you get the, the numbers and the keys. And then the rest is the idiot's guide. You're ready to go. So please don't shoot me. <laughs> If it doesn't sound like anything that you know, okay. And na na Lawrence Dollar ah uh, handy na yum. Sakandruguri za karigamombe. This is in honor of the president of Zimbabwe, of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Just to say, as a human rights activist, thank you very much for releasing those prisoners. You know, I said to you, Ndinema fe sangwariku kuchkurubi a maximum prison. There are not people that I really, really know, but in human rights activities, we've been, we have been uh, working with them through Femi Prest, uh, which helps women when they go into prison, they go in and do in reach, they do my assessments, and they work with them to prepare them for their uh, release from prison. They buy them blankets and other, all sorts of other things that gives them a, a, a good start. So I, I, I need to speak to, to Auntie Rita and find out and 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 then um see how we can continue but really you know when people do nice things it's nice to honor them so this is for our president of zimbabwe um mr rg mugabe or gushungo or baba chatunga uh, in honor of his father this is karigamombe i'm gonna play it uh, uh twice or three times and then i shall stop you can clap afterwards or you can boo afterwards you can throw your tomatoes afterwards if you want i don't really care okay so um enough so says um we are ready entertain and uh steve gwenzi says gwenyambira kazi ah inga chato ita chato kuira status so here we go i hope you can hear this let me make sure that my mic is close by I stumbled a little bit but I recovered very quickly so you can imagine if we had two or three other people playing with me apparently that is the lead so <laughs> when Albert taught me he didn't tell me that he was teaching me the lead so I was supposed to be the one who starts playing and then other people would join in oh it's so much fun I've got a few other songs that I, I, I was taught and I got my money's worth so if you are ever in Zimbabwe if you want to play Mbira this is something that I would recommend. I wanted to play this because I'm a Pan-Africanist. I didn't see why I should be playing a guitar or playing um, what it was, um, violin or playing something else when my ancestors fashioned this. You know that this is the origins of uh, the original, the granddaddy of uh, pianos. All other instruments have been derived from this. So our intelligence and our intellect as black people surpasses the credit that we are ever given. So this is my little baby. I travel with it everywhere. If ever you see me, especially my gochgoch or whatever, and you want me to strum a little something, 
be nice, buy me a drink and, and tell me there's a mirror in the boot. Can you do something? <laughs> you got to grease my hands so that I can do something for you. So I'll take a few uh, comments and then I shall uh, leave you in peace. And now Daniel, Grace, exclamation mark three times. Daniel, I miss you. Ah, why have you abandoned me? You don't even talk to me in inbox. I see all those beautiful pictures of you and your family. I'm loving them all the time. Uh, <laughs> really? I don't know. <laughs> and then you put a cheeky man laughing. And na 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 sekuru Lawrence Dollar. Tatova Mastella Chiweshe. Tatova Mastella Chiweshe Mumuri. Wow, that's a huge accolade. Uh, I don't know. If I ever get to a stage, I would really be impressed. When I went to the Mbira Center, uh, Albert said to me, Grace, why do you want to play the Mbira? I said to him, I do a lot of crocheting. My mind is always working very fast, so I think this will give me a good distraction. But also, the Mbira Center have introduced music in schools. So what they do is, um, if you wanted to, you can buy a Mbira uh, from the Mbira Center. It will be, it will be given uh, to a child in, uh, in the schools that they do, and the People, young people come to the Mbira Center and learn. The Mbira Center go into schools and also teach them. You are seeing those um, the talent shows where people, were, students are playing uh, marimba and they were playing all kinds of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that is um, happening in Zimbabwe. It's actually a business. The Mbira Center is the most beautiful place in the whole wide world. I loved it. There's so much fruit. I'm going to show you uh, some of the pictures that I was taking in January uh, when I was there learning. I was actually the first student and I was treated like royalty. I actually became part of the family uh, whenever I would drive up and uh, the, the dogs would come to the gate and bark at me. And in the end, I was petting them. Oh, it was so beautiful. And um, Albert's wife, Antonella, cooks the best food. Uh, she's Greek, by the way, but very, very Zimbabwean in the heart. Um, and now, Daniel, are you now um, a what? A blessing. What is that? I'm not sure. And now, Rutilio, Nemam Sasa. Well done, Tete. Looking forward to the next mirror session. My plan with this instrument is actually very simple. You know, I write a lot of poetry. So what I wanted was to learn the instrument so that I could be playing the instrument and reciting my poems alongside this. I don't understand a lot about Shivanu. My parents kind of kept me away from that when I was younger. In many ways, I wish I had le learned quite a bit. So some things I'm picking up, but my love for the Mbira instrument is purely because it makes such a beautiful sound and it's beautiful. And this is just amazing. Um, so if you don't want one for yourself, it's absolutely fine. If you want to gift one to somebody, you can always contact Albert. I'm going to put his details on my Facebook page uh, so that you can have that conversation. If not, you can always just go to YouTube and play a little bit of um, bit of music. It's actually more soothing than some of these relaxation tapes that we listen to. Right. In any indicator, Miss Kwaka, I can talk forever. So I'm going to leave you in peace. Um, thank you very much, Gushungo. Ah, my God, Father, man, you mean so I'm not gonna can I'm sure I'm not gonna say so I'm gonna love you and leave you one little strum and now Daniel kindly research more about the, the blesser and blessy social phenomenon and do a session on it soonest. Oh, wow. I always love challenges. So thank you for that, Daniel. I'm going to look into that. Um, you see, you don't know everything. So you're learning. Constitution in Zimbabwe a few years ago. Saka, one more round and then we are out of here. So thank you so much. I won't be, have a chance to say salute. So I'll say it beforehand uh, and have a blessed evening. Love you very much.